Um, so let's kind of jump into it here. Let me get set up real quick um, and, and I'll get that pulled up. Tigers are going on the road to visit the Crimson Tide. It's an SEC, historical SEC rivalry. Um, and this matchup has got a whole lot of different meaning now. Alabama's got three losses. Auburn feels like they're playing with house money at this point. They, they finally got a ball to bounce their way last week. They're able to convert, win against Texas A&M in multiple overtimes. This is a this is a chance for Auburn right here, Mason, I think, because I, I don't think you're going to see Alabama come out, and, and I don't think you're going to see the best of Alabama in this situation. Um, if history tells us anything, these teams that feel like they're – and I don't – I'll say it. These teams that feel like they're entitled to go to a playoff or a championship game or something like that, I would kind of consider Alabama to be one of those teams. When all that stuff is taken off of the table, what do you do then? How do you react? How do you play then? And I'm interested to see. You know, I, I'm not I'm not so sure that we're going to see Alabama coming in here fired up for this football game. And I think we are going to see Auburn come in here fired up, ready to pay Alabama back for uh, the Hail Mary at the end of last season in the corner of that end zone. I mean, that was absolutely an insane ending to that football game. Um, but we always see insane endings in this game. Alabama's an 11 and a half point favorite here. Over under is set at 52 and a half. Alabama has not been nearly as good at running the football as what I would have anticipated they would have been, Mason. Uh, part of that, I guess, has been offensive line. We saw. The offensive line just play absolutely like shit against Oklahoma this past weekend. Um, Oklahoma's defensive line tore them boys up. I've never seen an Alabama offensive line get their ass kicked like that, ever. Um, last time I think I maybe I can remember that was like whenever Alabama played Utah. You remember that? Years and years and years ago um, in that bowl game, and and Utah just absolutely dismantled Alabama. It, was, uh, was it, it wasn't the Sugar Bowl, but it was one of those big bowl games, and man, it, this was pre-playoff era, um, you know, and I haven't seen it since then. That's a long time ago. Can Alabama run the football here in this spot? Uh, if you look at the statistics for Auburn, we talked about this yesterday on the reaction show because obviously we were reacting to Auburn getting the big win last night at home. The stats just don't really match up with the record. defensively. Auburn has not been a terrible team. They're 37th in the country, sacks gained, okay, with 27. That's pretty good. But th look at this, total defense, 24th in the country. Rush yards per game allowed, 20th in the country. Pass yards per game, 50th in the country. 50th isn't great, but, I mean, you're still talking about well into the upper half. That's better than average. Um, but but here, here's the problem. Here is the problem for Auburn this season. And it, most of this has happened in the fourth quarter, what I'm about to say. Turnovers lost, and that's the offense turning the ball over. Auburn has given the ball up 20 times. That's 115th in the country. And on defense, that's turnovers gained. Auburn has only acquired nine of them. And seven of those are interceptions. Um, so that's good for 124th in the country. So not only are they turning the ball over at a high clip, they're not getting any turnovers. So whenever I say that the ball finally bounced their way, that's kind of what I'm saying. Turnovers is an interesting stat. You can produce turnovers, and producing turnovers and creating havoc is an identity as a defense. Just as much as on – but on offense, I'm not so, sure, so much sure that it's as much the identity as it is just kind of craziness. Bad, I guess, bad decision. I don't know what you want to call it. Bad luck. I don't know. The fourth quarter has been terrible for Auburn. So my point is, in saying all of this, if Auburn goes into this game and they don't turn the ball over a lot, I think they got a really, really good shot to win this sucker because I think you're going to see Alabama kind of moping around here. Um, we saw Oklahoma beat Alabama last week, barely throwing the football. 60-something yards passing for the whole game for Oklahoma. Can Auburn replicate that somewhat? We saw Auburn a few weeks ago run the ball for over 300 yards against Kentucky. Can you do something like that? 
Because if you do, I think you're mitigating risk. Alabama's been great at getting turnovers this year. That's that's something that they've got a huge edge in in this game. And so I, that's why I think turnovers are such a big deal in this game. Um, Alabama is second in the country at causing turnovers this year. They've caused 25 of them. 14 of those have been interceptions. So can Auburn figure out a way to sustain drives and move the football without putting it at risk by throwing it a bunch of times in this game? Because the more Auburn throws it, the more chance you got uh, of throwing an interception to this, this, uh, this secondary here. So it comes down to the run game. Alabama defensively against the run this season, they're 62nd in the country at 144 yards per game allowed. So I think there's an opportunity there. And with all this being said, there's a 0% chance that I'm taking Alabama minus 11 and a half in this football game. Auburn has all of the makings here to be able to not only cover this spread, but have a very good chance of winning this game. But they can't turn the ball over, Mason. That is the biggest, that's the biggest thing in this football game. Uh, we just saw Alabama turn the ball over three times. And, and, you know, there's something else, one other thing, and I'm going to give this to you, and you got to give us your thoughts on this game. But I was sitting here looking at some of the offensive numbers for Alabama, getting ready for this breakdown. And I found something super, super interesting. Alabama, their best offensive statistic is their scoring offense, their points per game. They're 36.2 points per game, and in today's college football, that's 17th in the country. That is solid. And whenever you consider the schedule that Alabama's played in the SEC and things like that, 36.2 points per game is very, very solid. But none of the other stats match that output. So it looks weird on paper. Um, 181 rush yards per game. That's 41st in the country. And you got to remember, too, that those numbers are conflated, inflated by some games where Alabama just went crazy running the ball. And then you've got games where they couldn't run the ball at all. So they've been terribly inconsistent running the football, but it's been good for 41st in the country overall. Pass yards per game, 52nd in the country. Um, sacks allowed, they've allowed 18. That's 52nd in the country. Uh, turnovers lost, that's their 50th in the country with 14. Nine of those being interceptions. So it got me wondering, with all these numbers being just kind of average, pretty average as far as offensively, how do they score that many points? Then I got down to those turnovers. And if Alabama ain't turning the football over, they're going to be in a close game and they're going to have a very good chance of losing the football game. That is their identity this season. They have made themselves off of those turnovers. Think about it. Alabama never beats Georgia if they don't get five turnovers in that game or whatever. There's no chance. I mean, Georgia had the lead with two minutes left. I mean, uh, give me a break. So Alabama has feasted off of turnovers. They have suffered from famine, from lack of turnovers in games where they didn't get them. That's where this game lies, Mason. Give me Auburn plus the points here over under. Um, I, I would I would probably consider under because I think Auburn's going to be able to run the football and play some keep away here. I think under 52 and a half in this one. I think it's a low scoring one. I'll pull up some trends here for this football game. What do you think? Well, what were the two uh, keys to victory for Oklahoma that I said in the preview uh, last week? It was it was don't turn the ball over because this this Alabama defense is very op opportunistic and they get interceptions like it's nobody's business. They, they do a great job of that. Um, and stop the run. Stop Jalen Milrow from running. I, uh, what I, what I said in my preview was that, um, you know, it wasn't long before the LSU game for Alabama that we were talking about how broken this offense is. And we saw that once again. Um, and, and to your point, Mark, when Alabama's not getting the turnovers, and when Jalen Milrow is able to, to run free and 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 break containment, um, that's that's when this offense is is deadly. That's when they're electric. They're now they are still with Ryan Williams, uh, Jeremy Bernard, and and these these uh, and and, and Jalen Milrow's deep ball. They are still one of the most explosive teams in the SEC, if not the most explosive uh, offense in the SEC. And that's kind of where you're seeing on on top of the turnovers. Uh, that's where you're seeing the the stats that don't necessarily match the points per game. They're, they're, it seems to me at least like Alabama is either um, three and out or 
in four plays, they're getting 75 yards down the field and scoring. Like they are, they are a big play uh, waiting to happen on the offensive side of the football. How does Alabama or how does Auburn approach that d defensively? And I, I think that they're gonna, you're gonna see them do or try to do what Oklahoma did uh, just last night in uh, again containing the run, containing Milrow, and uh, and and force him to beat you over the top. Maybe maybe run you know two high safeties and and play a little bit of uh, zone coverage uh, over the back end of the of the defense and and force him to to throw some interceptions and make some mistakes. I think that I think that the blueprint is out now. Uh, for how to slow down this Alabama offense. And and all, all that Auburn has to do is follow the game plan, right? Auburn does not have the dudes that Oklahoma does. I, I, I get that. This isn't the same defense. However, they're not bad. This is like this is a very competent defense in, in the uh, Auburn Tigers. So I, I, I'm with you, Mark. I think that there is a very clear path to victory for Auburn in this football game. I don't like that it's in T Town. Uh, I, I think if if they had this one at home, I would I would be on uh, Auburn in the money line, pretty heavy actually. But um, the fact that they do have to travel to Tuscaloosa backs me off uh, fr from that uh, a little bit at least for now. Uh, but I, I, I do think that they're going to be able to cover here. I think it's going to be a field goal type game. I think it could be uh, another overtime type game for Auburn. And um, I, I really, I really feel strong that uh, that Auburn's going to be in a position to potentially win this game if they, again, protect the football. If they, if they're able to contain Milrow, you can you can win this game with uh, with their defense and with uh, Jarquez Hunter uh, and what they've been able to do. This offense has really been clicking uh, since they went on that that or since I guess week six where they were sitting there after that game and they're one and five. Uh, on the season, something clicked there for the offense, uh, and and they kind of turned it around, went in three out of their last four, um, and uh, and now they're now they're kind of set up to to spoil Alabama's season. I mean, they Alabama still does have a uh, an, an opportunity to make the college football playoff, but not if Auburn wins, and and they know that. And uh, I think I think the Auburn fans are kind of licking their chops seeing a wounded Alabama. Um, on their on their schedule coming up, and um, I, I think that they feel pretty good about where they're sitting right now and their uh, their chances of, of winning this football game. Absolutely, if they can protect the football, mark my words, Auburn will be in this one late. Um, we'll see if they can get over their fourth quarter woes. Um, and look, you know, I, I get it, Alabama. I, I see peanut butter posse in the comment section. Alabama still has a chance to sneak in the playoffs. And they had a chance to go to the. SEC championship this past weekend, and they absolutely crapped their pants. So um, this one is at home. I don't know that Alabama was ready for that road environment last week. Um, you know, uh, Coach said everything looked great. They had a good game plan. Practice was good, all that stuff, and then they just went out there and crapped their pants and didn't even score a touchdown. Um, NASCAR season may be starting a little sooner than we thought in Alabama. We'll see what happens this weekend. I'll be interested to see. If Alabama is ready to go, um, I know that there is a ton of distractions going on right now in T-Town. I, I think that this one certainly sets up good for the Auburn Tigers to be able to go in there and mark up a win in this awesome rivalry. Should have won this game last year. Um, who do we think is was better uh, in the game last year, right? We, we thought Alabama was much, much better than what they are probably this year, I would think. Um, and... and they should have lost that game. So we'll see what happens in this one uh, going down in T-Town on Saturday. Iron Bowl, baby. Looking forward to it.